For catheter care, I would wash my hands and get two washcloths and a hand towel from the linen closet. And then I would go to the resident room and knock on the door. Good morning, Lee. I'm Myra. I'm here to do your catheter care. Is that okay? I'm going to wash my hands again. And provide for privacy. So I would take the resident's basin and get some warm water there. I'm going to raise the bed up to my working height. Okay, get my gloves on. table closer to me. I'll go with washcloths in there. And again, I'll have Lee check the water with his hand. Or if he can't reach, he'll take the washcloth and put it on the back of his hand, make sure it's a good temperature for him. So again, we're going to expose just the area, just the catheter that we're going to clean. We could put a blanket over the top of him. And then just like peri care, we'll put a towel down underneath, but we want to be very careful that we're not on top of the catheter tubing. Anytime that tubing gets tugged, it's very uncomfortable for the resident. So if he can lift his hips, we'll ask him to do that. Otherwise, we'll lift up behind his knees and get the towel down. And just like with peri care, we want to only use each area of the washcloth once. So once I put soap on, I'm going to fold that into the four and then keep my thumb at that corner. So it's important for you to stand on the side of the bed with your dominant hand so you can hold the catheter with your non-dominant hand and clean with your strong hand. So I want to hold the catheter as close to the what we call the meatus, which is the urinary opening, so that, again, we don't tug on the catheter because that's uncomfortable. There's a balloon at the bottom of the bladder that keeps the catheter in, and so that will cause a lot of discomfort for the resident. So I'll hold as close to the resident as I can. I have my soapy washcloth. I'm going to clean down at least four inches, and then I'll flip my cloth over and clean again. So as many times as it takes, if catheter care has been done routinely, two is probably enough. You can also perform peri care at this time, so you can start to wash around and go around the skin. You can refer to that video for specifics on that. So I'll take my rinse cloth, also have that folded in four, put my thumb at the corner, still gonna hold the catheter, rinse, Put my cloth over, go down at least four inches. Again, as many times as I need to get the soap off. And then we'll dry the same way using this towel underneath. Hold the catheter and gently use two different parts of the towel. Okay. And I'll take that towel out, put that in the linen bag. So the really important thing about the catheter is that it drains by gravity. So we need to make sure this tubing goes from the resident and goes from the top down. If this were flipped the other way, the urine would be going against gravity and it might sit here and then backflow into the bladder, which could cause an infection. As the urine sits in the tubing, it's at room temperature, more microorganisms grow, and then if that gets back into the bladder, it can cause that infection. So we wanna follow the tubing from the resident and make sure it's going top down and coiled if there's excess. And then the catheter bag hangs on the side of the bed. And we need to make sure that that does not touch the floor. There are also um, two other things that help keep the catheter from pulling out. So one is a leg strap. It is Velcroed around the resident's leg and that should be alternated every day. So that could be put over onto the other leg and the catheter bag can be brought over to the other side. And then the part that secures the catheter goes around the opening. So this 
tube is what the nurse uses to insert the catheter, and this is the drainage tube. So we take that split and put it right on that strap, and then that goes through and both sides Velcro. The other thing is this green clip that has a rubber band on it, so if the catheter bag were to somehow get dislodged from the bed, it would pull on this clip, and then there's no pressure for this part for the resident. So we wanna make sure you have those two things in place when the resident is in bed. Okay, so then I just make sure it's draining correctly. Everything looks fine. So I'll remove my gloves. Are you comfortable, Lee? Okay, I'm gonna lower your bed. Wash my hands. Make sure the bed is locked. Take my dirty linens and bring those to the dirty supply. And then make sure he has his call light. Open the curtain here. And then get his call light in place. All right, of course, report any skin concerns to the nurse.